Welcome back. Please share, subscribe, and comment. Italy. Kobali in the picturesque landscapes of Italy, where rolling vineyards meet quaint villages and age-old traditions intertwine with modern life. The serene town of Verdi nestled in the Lombardy region held a secret that piqued the curiosity of many. The whispers of Kobali floated through the streets, cafes, and piazzas, an enigma wrapped in culture and history that drove both locals and outsiders into a fervor of exploration and speculation. The intrigue began when an old, intricately carved chest was discovered in the attic of the Crisani family villa, a home known for its historical significance and architectural beauty. Upon opening the dusty, brass-hinged box, the family found a collection of faded documents, handwritten letters, correspondences, and maps, all referencing a mysterious figure, Illinois Maestro di Cobali, a name reverberating with an air of reverence and mysticism. As word of the discovery spread, historians and amateur sleuths alike flocked to Verdi, compelled by the magnetic pull of the Kobali mystery. The documents alluded to a secret of brotherhood centered around a grand symphony composed but never performed, said to possess the power to stir the soul and evoke universal harmony. The symphony was mysteriously dubbed Kobali, its score scattered and hidden, presumed lost to time. Intrigued, a young musicologist named Sofia Rossi arrived from Florence, carrying with her a passion for unraveling musical mysteries. Sofia's grandmother had told her tales of a legendary symphony crafted in Italy's golden age of opera, a masterpiece that transcended notes and reached into the realms of the divine. Sofia immersed herself in the faded documents, each page a portal to the past. She discovered that I.L. Maestro di Cobali, was Giovanni Battista Cobali, a composer whose brilliance was overshadowed by his abrupt disappearance and the subsequent dispersal of his unfinished work. It was said that his symphony's initial performance was deterred by a powerful noble family who viewed its message as a threat to the status quo. As Sophia delved deeper, the mentions of the Brotherhood grew frequent. The cryptic notes left in the margins of Giovanni's letters hinted at gatherings in clandestine locations guided by music and wine under the silver moonlight, a ritual binding the Brotherhood to their quest of resurrecting the Kobali Symphony. The Brotherhood was rumored to be composed of musicians, poets, and thinkers who had vowed to restore Giovanni's vision and share it with the world. With each piece of the puzzle, Sophia felt the weight of the past beckoning her to recover what had been lost. Her interpretation of the scattered notations and cryptic maps began to form a coherent path, a trail leading through the charming towns of Lombardy, each location revealing fragments of the score. Local artisans, bookshop owners, and musicians around Verdi offered their assistance, driven by the allure of unearthing a forgotten cultural treasure. An elderly librarian named Matteo, who had spent decades collecting folklore and local histories, became Sophia's ally. His knowledge of Lombardy's topography and hidden archives was instrumental in tracing the path of the elusive symphony. One evening, the townspeople gathered in Verdi's piazza under the glow of timeless lamplights and the shimmer of countless stars. Musicians from all over the region joined Sophia, preparing to perform the fragments they had painstakingly pieced together. As the first note lingered in the air, a collective hush fell over the crowd, a harmony audible only to those who dared to listen. It was a transcendent experience. As the music flowed, an ethereal connection between past and present was forged, uniting the imaginations of all gathered. Each note of the Kobali symphony resonated with the hopes, dreams, and struggles of those who came before, transcending the barriers of time and inspiring a renewed sense of community and cultural pride. In the end, the search for Kobali was more than a quest for a lost symphony. It became a journey of rediscovering identity and a testament to the enduring power of art to connect humanity, awakening a shared heritage buried within the soul of Italy. And as the final note drifted into silence, echoes of Kobali's legacy continued to inspire from that small, enchanting town, reminding all who heard that some mysteries enrich not just minds, but the heart's eternal rhythm as well.